In this age of the di digital technology, anyone can produce their own CD and have it heard by the masses on the net. Music's being manufactured from the home and bedrooms that double as studios. All it takes is a few thousand dollars, a modicum of talent, lots of initiative, and these maestros are on their way. Here's Tony Veach. Let me take you on a journey. I love listening to my own music, man. That's what it's all about. All about. All about. All about. Would you give up everything else for music? Just between you and me, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Welcome, Welcome to, to a brave room. new world, a world of new music. 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 New technology. New opportunities. opportunities. The gear just gets cheaper and cheaper, and I mean, guys in, in bedrooms and with um, PCs and stuff can crank out, you know, really, really good tracks now that are right up there. Saturday night in Wellington, and for some budding Kiwi musos, this is huge. For the first time taking their CDs, their music from the bedroom to the club room. My album's been out about a year, and uh, there's lots of people around the world have heard it, but this is like far more nerve-wracking than anything I've done before, and quite excited about it. Is this like the biggest night of Dion Deverell's life tonight? Hell yeah! <laughs> this is the night, man. This makes a difference. After tonight, man, nothing will be the same. Electronica, the music of today, and given current trends, probably the future as well. For these guys, performing's the realisation of a dream. A dream that only a few years ago would have relied on a record deal and a whole heap of cash. People don't really hire expensive studios. You can get underway with a PC for about two grand and you're on your way. Could you have afforded to, to make this music two, three years ago? Uh, in all honesty, no. I mean, CD, CDR machines, CD writers, they're down to 500 bucks, half a grand. There's more of a market now for this sort of thing, so the, the equipment's easily available. This place, the net, is also giving Kiwi Musos incredible exposure. Musos like this bloke here. How you doing, Sparky? Yeah, Tony, great. Over the moon. Mate, how is the cyber release going? It's been unbelievable, phenomenal. The net's been huge for us. Here, let me show you. Let me take you on a journey. A cosmic journey. Sparky's cosmic journey. They've released three music videos on one of America's largest servers, NBCI.com. The response, enormous. It's been incredible. We're averaging over 4,000 downloads a day, rocketed to number one after three days, and have over 200,000 downloads total. I want you, I need you, I would die here right now for you. Not bad for a band that admits it has trouble cracking the Christchurch scene. But such is the way of music these days. You record from home, send to the world, in studios that cost less than $10,000 to set up. Set up a 48-track digital studio with all the effects like we've got, I mean, a few years ago it would have cost $150,000 to $200,000. We'd um, auditioned for a major record company and we'd um, sent off tapes and things to major record companies here and, and um, had no interest and we thought we'll just take the bull by the horns and do it. Basically put it on the net ourselves and release globally. A decision which has proved to be a masterstroke for Nelson duo D&E. Thanks to the net, their music has now been picked up and played by MTV Europe. In musical terms, they've hit the jackpot. The population of New Zealand um, subscribes to MTV, so there's a massive amount of people seeing the clip several times a week. It's got exposure, and then we've got a lot of interest from major record companies and independent record companies in Europe. There will always be a place for the record labels. Their distribution powers remain enormous. But for Kiwi musos prepared to get out there and do it themselves, the opportunities are endless, the rewards priceless. Hey, maybe a major label will pick us up, but if not, we'll just carry on doing what we're doing and putting it out on the net for people to hear. 
hell was that? Yeah. <sighs> I'll be back. And Sparky's Cosmic Journey are planning their own Madonna-like webcast just after Christmas. You can find them at www.sparkyscosmicjourney.com.